What's up everyone? So I'm back with a quick update because I've been reading my comments and when I first received this treadmill, I didn't know anything about the tech at all. I assumed because I did play around with it in the beginning that um, you're not able to download anything. So someone in the comment told me to go to this guy on YouTube um, he had actually a Peloton bike. Um, he was actually able to install like different apps on his um, tablet, on his Peloton bike. This is a pro form system. So I said, okay, give the person the benefit of the doubt. So I made my way to that channel. Um, and what he said was partially true. Um, it's definitely going to be different for this pro form tablet um he used the 10 tap method um, and he did it twice um it didn't work for me <laughs> so i've been playing with this app all day and i finally got to the place where it actually allowed me in to get into the system and actually change the settings um so i'm gonna do it um, I played around with it, so my apps is already downloaded. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys the faster version of this. So with the 10 tap method, he did the 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, all the way up to 7. Um, just do the three taps um, in a set of 10. Let's do it right now. One second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four. So you see that um, it looks like it took me about, I would say about four, 10 taps um, at a time to actually get it to go over to the setting where it says true. Um, so after it says true, it should allow you to do whatever you want to do with this. Um, so after you go inside and set it to true, you go in and you press this button in the middle. This allowed you to go to your main desktop page. Um, but the first thing he did was he went into his settings as well. And he went to security. And he made sure that the unknown sources allow installation of app from unknown sources and it's checked to green. This will allow you to go in and download anything that you want to do it, um, to download any app basically. So let me just slide on up and press the, the circle. And as you can see, I already have my apps downloaded on here. But for sake of new people, what I say you need to do is just go to your browser. And as you can see, I'm already downloaded certain things. So go back to my browser and just type in Netflix. Uh, can I even spell um, APK? And just press enter. And only thing you need to do is click on this one, the first one. And it brings up the Netflix app. And you're just going to choose download XAPK. It's going to let you know, I mean, how many um, megabytes or how large the file is. Just click on it. And as you can see, it start downloading. 
it's downloading and I'm not going to choose it. Um, it's downloading again, but once it's finished downloading or uploading or downloading, you are just going to click on it. Uh, that one says not, can't do it, but let's click on this because I already downloaded to begin with. It's going to say, do you want to install an update? Well, not for me. I won't be downloading an update, but let's just go ahead and choose install because that's what you're going to do to begin with. And once it's done, you should be able to open the app. And I'm going to sign in. Uh, can't let you see my code. And I don't even remember if my codes by heart because I have everything saved. All right, so I'm in. You see my name, then you see my niece and nephew. So we're gonna go to mines, and I'm actually gonna show you the way that he did it. Okay, this, okay. And it will allow you to cast, which is another good thing as well. And that's shocking because it didn't, that didn't pop up the first time. My name was in the right hand corner. So what I'm gonna do is see if it allowed me to click on my name. Oh Lord, it looked like this went through a system update. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so this is what I want you guys to do. Um, usually when you first log in the right-hand corner, you're able to choose your name. But since um, I already downloaded this and I went through several things, looked like mine's actually updated itself, so it allowed me to start casting to my TV. That wasn't there um, prior to me you know, downloading the app on it. Um, so what I would suggest you to do once you go into um, Netflix, go to the help center, use this in the right hand corner. Once you choose your name, it's going to say you can go to the help center or you would go to your, I guess, where the settings will be and go to help center that way and just do type in Netflix. APK because this is how he did it. And you will choose read article. Oh, hell, you see, when you start downloading things to begin with, it don't even allow me to, um, let me just do Netflix. It's probably because I already have it download, downloaded on my app already. Let me just do this. Okay. I know what I did wrong. Okay. 
So this is what I need you to do. Once you get into Netflix Help Center, and I'm just gonna go back to it. Here go my name right here. And I'm sorry it's taking for so long. But click on your name. As I said, it's gonna be in the right hand corner and choose Help Center right there. My fat fingers, hopefully it choose the right one and it did. And once you get to Help Center, choose APK, just type it in, APK. Don't ask me what it stands for. I do not know what it stands for. And just press the enter. And you're just going to choose read the article. And you're just going to um, tap download the Netflix app. And as you see, that was the first thing I download right there. Uh, sorry. And then it's the next thing right there. So, of course, I re-download it for you again. And what I did, too, as well, um, once I finished downloading um, Netflix, I just basically went back to the browser. And what I did was did um, Hulu. And I'm just do APK. And as you saw, I chose this one. So for people that's like, which one did you choose? This is the only one that I chose to begin with. And as you see, it says download APK. Just only choose the one that says download APK. Because if you choose anything else that probably have like extra letters and stuff in it, it probably would not work. So let's just do it, download it again for the time being. And as you see before, it popped right up there on the second go around. All right. Let's do install again. So people can actually know, okay, it, it's gonna work. Now, if it doesn't work, it's gonna let you know. Um, I have tried downloading HBO Max on top of here and it says certain things will not work without google play settings the original but for this one um hulu and netflix definitely works i don't even know my hulu password so i'm not going to put it in um, and take up more of your time but this is how you download apps you can try to download everything but make sure that you if you do choose to download Choose the one that says download APK regardless. If not, you're going to get messages saying you're not able to use it because of the settings inside of this tablet. And I get it. Um, so I have played with this from time to time. But for people that are looking to um, go ahead and download um, these apps on this um, on your tablet, you're able to do so. Um, if you have any questions um, for me, you can put them in the, um, I guess, in the chat below or comment below and just ask anything. For me, what the guy did on his Peloton, he did the 10 tap method, but he also did, let me, so he did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then he said one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. And then he did it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. So it looks like, um, let's see here, what does they allow me to do it? Okay. Now, so, okay, so when my um thing just disappeared, I don't have the... <laughs> <laughs> it don't looks like I have the um, function anymore. Get out of here. Okay, but since I'm still in it, thank God. 
it's still gonna allow me to do whatever I need to do. Let me just go to, back to iFit. So only thing you need to do is, is just do the 10 tap method. I continually did it um, without the one 1000, but I did take like a one or two second pause um, in between it. So let me do it right now again, since I'm on it, cause this is where he started. I didn't start from here to be honest with you. Um, I started from some other place and I did the 10 tap method and until it told me that the privilege was true and you know that it's true it pop up and saying it's true and if you want to take it away you can do it the same thing and it's going to go back to false so let's see if it does it to me right now All right, so as you can see, it's not doing for me. I hope I didn't lock myself out of this damn thing. Oh my God. <laughs> so let me do it the regular way. All right, so there we go. So it's actually set itself back, back to false. So it's not gonna allow me to slide up at all. Um, as you can see, I think that's why the little pause is okay, I guess, to pause in between after you do the 10 step method. But let me just go ahead and relock me, open up the security settings once again for myself. Um, if you made this far, you don't need to go back this far. You know, me being the crazy person that I am, look like I, you know, almost locked myself out of the security setting. But it's back to false. I now need to go back to true um, in order to gain access.
All right, there you go. So it's set back to true. Um, as I said before, when the um, the guy that did it on his Peloton video, he did it twice, um, twice tap it on it 10 times with the um, one 1,000 all the way to seven twice as well. And it did it for him within a blink of an eye. Now for pro form, it looks like you're gonna have to tap it, maybe do the 10 taps on it. And with the seven second pause in between, um, it takes, to me, it looked like it does it for this particular system three to four times in order to do it. Um, make sure you do the seven little second breaks in between and it will unlock it for you. Make sure that in order for it, for you to gain access, which I have access right now, because you see I have the back button, the middle button, which allows you to go to your apps. Um, and then, what's this? Oh, this allows you to see how many um, pages you have open. Um, but it does it for me. So hopefully this will help some of you guys that want to be movie stars on your treadmills or be able to catch up whatever you need to catch up on Netflix or Hulu. Um, this is a little added little, um, I guess, accessory or a breakthrough for some people in order for you to add it to your tablet. So I hopefully that helps you guys. Um, it helped me. Now, I'm not a, a binge watcher, as you, I said in the beginning when I first did this review. Um, at first, I didn't think I fit would actually help me out um, while walking on the treadmill because who cared? I mean, I didn't care nothing about seeing the scenery or anything, but it does pushes me to my limit knowing that other people are there. And I'm not trying to be a star pupil or anything, and I'm definitely not trying to be a cheetah while I'm walking through on this iFit app. But it does give you, I guess it's your um, perspective while you're exercising. It gives you that push if you need it. For some people that just don't care, you want to walk slow, um, be your turtle, you know, be your turtle and be a superstar and watch your little Hulu, watch your Netflix. And I know some of you guys just had, I wanted to just give a brief update into this tablet because even though it's small to me, it's big in stature and it's actually very loud. So this will go a long way. Um, this will be the last time you guys will be hearing from me doing a little review because all of this is about to go into storage. Um, I'm moving from Texas back home to Georgia. So, um, it's going to be a while before I do another update. on um, tricks and neat things with this one. Um, thanks for everyone that do like the video. If you don't like it, I don't care. As I said before, I don't even like my speaking voice. So <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm just doing this for people that, you know, are looking for insight about this particular model of the treadmill, the Proform. Um, I, have, I have had two different Proform treadmills and I think they're the best. Um, you can't change my mind. I have worked out on Planet Fitness treadmills before and I think they suck. Um, but I actually enjoy theirs. This one don't have a fan. Um, I don't know. I was reading through the comments and you said yours came with a fan. As you can see, I don't have an option for any fan at all. So you must have a later version of it. Make sure you have the Carbon T7. This is the T7. Now, I don't know about the T10 for the people that got a little extra money in their pockets. Um, I don't. It was broke season for me and treadmills used to be very cost efficient a year or so ago. Now they threw the roof so I decided to go ahead and grab one before these suckers become $2,000 for the basic model. Um, hopefully everyone is staying safe and, uh, and healthy during the COVID. Um, COVID hasn't been very good to me at all. Um, I lost my job when this first started. So I'm going back home to take care of me and get some me time in. Um, I just finished out my lease. So now I'm going home. The movers will be here when, in a week or so. So I'm happy to be moving home. Hopefully you guys are here um, for me again in the future. You never know, but I will answer your questions whenever I see them. Um, some I may get to faster than the other, depending on if I have my phone in my hand. But you guys have a safe one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.